Today we are doing a food truck adventure. Three trucks, three friends. One winner. I mean, the winner well, will be us. The but, winner will be all yeah, of but, us, you yeah. Know. The first place is Kogi, which is Korean Mexican fusion. The second is a poutine spot. And the third is a green truck, which does vegan, vegetarian, healthy stuff. It's gonna be a kaleidoscope of trucks and flavors. It really will I be, I like yeah. the, the kaleidoscope. The word That's kaleidoscope. Beautiful. I do like that word. During COVID, one of the few things that we can still do as people to feel normal is eat. The three of us are getting tested regularly. We're in a quarantine bubble together. However, when we're out in the world, we will be masked and or a safe six feet apart from everyone we're talking to. I'm yeah. stoked for today, guys. Yeah. What, what are you expecting? Number one, I'm looking for what does the truck look like? Does it catch my eye? Does it invite me in? Number two, what's the flavor factor? Number three, how much? Are you guys like me though, where the nicer and shinier a truck is, the less I trust it? Why don't you trust it? You think it's like a, a, an Applebee's food truck? Yeah, <laughs> I, I need my food truck to have some grit. Eugene's in Korea. Yeah, which so is very Korea's sad, because this is going to be a fun day for us. We miss Eugene, so we're going to go eat Korean food. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're here at Kogi, my favorite food truck in all of Los Angeles. No joke, there was a point in my life where I ate here once a week. Today we're gonna get to talk to the owner, none other than our friend, Roy, Roy Choi. Choi. He doesn't like me, so let's see how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Only your dad or a dog would consider it <laughs> a birthday cake. Now you think that he likes you less than me? Yes. Now, and you think he's gonna remember like, oh, cause I, I don't know. He left the table. <laughs> I made <laughs> <laughs> Bowl of cereal without a recipe. He did really hate yours. Yeah. Hey Roy, how's it going? Hey, good to see you guys again. Welcome to my hometown. We are stoked to be here. What are we going to be eating today? The soul of Kogi is the LA street taco. So small, uh, kind of four and a half inch tortilla. And then if you think of carne asada or al pastor. I do all um, the time. Yeah, and you <laughs> think of chorizo tacos or boucher tacos. Uh, that's the construction of the taco. But then the flavor is like Korean barbecue all in one bite. Wow. So it's the whole meal. The short rib taco, that's our signature taco. It's two small tortillas griddled with a marinade short rib. So soy sauce, ginger, kiwi, garlic, green onions, all that stuff pureed into a marinade, grilled, chopped, recooked again. So we call it double caramelization. I hope it's not weird for you as you talk. I'm like licking my I lips. Know. I'm oh, just staring I'm, at yeah. you going, no, I'm used to it. Yeah. Okay. Mm, yeah. It's usually what I, all I see from that window. I believe it. Then we make a salsa roja that includes dried chilies and Korean chili paste and different fruits like oranges and apples and all that stuff and lots of vinegars. Wow. And then we pour that over the top. We make a cilantro onion relish with lime and salt. And then we make a salad, uh, like a shaved green onion, cabbage that we toss in a chili powder vinaigrette. From there, we can change out the short rib for chicken. So we do a soy marinade chicken, almost like a kind of a light teriyaki style, but it's spicy. Um, and then we do a spicy pork, which is even spicier, but that has a lot of chilies and jalapenos and chili paste. And then we do a tofu, which is marinated in um, a different type of like marinade, but it's served with a green salsa. Which okay. one do you want to start with? I think we got to start with the short rib, right? 27 ingredients here. Cheers. Wow. Cheers. Cheers. Whoa! I was not expecting that much flavor. Oh yeah, man. Oh my god. It's like an explosion of like spicy, tangy. There's a sweetness that is oh. unbelievable. And then this tick Whoa. of spice that ties it all together. Oh my god. Got that great LA street taco taste. The tortilla is perfect. All right, let's do the chicken next. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. Wow. More, more citrus, I feel. Yeah, a little more citrusy. The chicken is very tender. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit spicier, but it's totally handleable spice. And it sort of just coats your mouth and it doesn't get any hotter. Mm -hmm. You just live in this great, like, comfortable heat. Mm -hmm. The food bloggers were the first customers and the first people that spread the message of Kogi. In 08, the iPhone just came out, Twitter just came out, and the whole world economy crashed. And then we sold these $2 tacos that tasted like LA. I think it was the merging of technology and food together for the first time. Let's move on to the pork. Mmm. Okay. Whoa. Oh my God. That's totally different. Definitely has more of a kick. Woo. 
Oh, but it's good. It's mm. so good. I feel like there's mangoes in here. Right, there's something like fruity, but the amount of flavors in the accoutrement, the way that it kind of works together well, speaks to the marinades and the thought going into each of the meats. You had me at accoutrement. Mm. Normally I would eat this kind of food drunk. Oh yeah. I'm sad I'm not drunk, but I'm also happy it's this good sober, you know? So we dive into the tofu. In Korean cuisine, tofu is paired with meat. We yeah. think of it as the replacement. The meat. Yep. No, it's its own yeah. thing. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like this a lot. This really is the most Mexican of the four. Weirdly. Yeah, I think it's the verde sauce. But it's less like dense than meat, right? But then it kind of melts in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Today this video is called Finish the Menu. Right? I like, that's a good, we should make that show. We have burritos, quesadillas. They're all kind of like variations off of like each other. The Taco Bell model. This is a salad. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> you have five ingredients with 50 items. I mean, that's the way <laughs> You take that same construction and just extra large it. Yeah. And then it becomes a burrito. I wish if you cut me open, I was that beautiful. You would never. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my God, yes. Oh yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, Zach. Mm -hmm. Get in, Zach. You can taste the char on this beef as well, yeah. and it is so unbelievably perfect. And the tortilla is so soft. Everything just kind of melts in my mouth. It's like all congealing together. Mm. Mm. I've been spending more time in the kitchen trying to, to cook for myself. Mm -hmm. Why? Nothing I ever do right. will come even close to touching this greatness. And for only $8? It's so fucking good. <laughs> you know in McDonald's they say that the fries and the Coca-Cola make you keep bouncing between them? Like you have a fry. Oh, it's too salty, you need sweet. Oh, Coke's too sweet, you need a fry. This has mm. all of that bounce in every bite. I'm bouncing. That's the bounce. That's a bouncy burrito. That's the bounce. Kogi, we got the bounce. Every time I take a bite of this, I just want to scream, F you Applebee's. You take the same construction and then you add cheese and flatten it and it becomes the quesadilla. Nice. Oh, yeah. nice. Sharing the Kogi secrets wow. here. <laughs> wow. I've never said this before. <laughs> so we have the blackjack quesadilla, the kimchi quesadilla, the hot dog, and the Pac-Man burger. The burger is like everything, kitchen sink. All the sauces, all the, all the proteins, all the cheeses, all the salads, all the relishes inside a sesame seeded bun and crushed. And then the hot dog is uh, again the same, the same construction, but instead of a tortilla, you get a bun. Instead of meat, you put a hot dog in. Let's start with the quesadillas. The color on this motherfucker. Oh man, this makes me feel fat. <laughs> I love it. There's a lot of cheese in here. It's like getting into a bathtub when you take a bite of this thing. If I only ate this, I would look like President Taft. Kimchi time. Oh wow. Oh my god, you guys, yes! I need you to look at me in yeah. my eyes. Wow. Yes! It's so tangy. It wow. It is crazy. And still that cheese makes it luxurious. It's yeah. phenomenal. The whole purpose of the Kogi truck is to make sure that everyone is fed. I and mean, that's why we still stand here stronger than ever because of our connection and community, especially now uh, after COVID hit and our community and our fans just rallied around us. So we as Americans, are groomed or were raised to believe that food is somewhat legitimate when it's inside a brick and mortar. Um, Applebee's, for Applebee's, example. Applebee's, for example, <laughs> which is the complete antithesis <laughs> to normal. You know, this is normal. Yeah. This should be the world. Yeah. And then that is the complete fabrication and creation of some other world. F you, um, Applebee's. <laughs> that's true. Buy sponsorship. <laughs> if they have it by now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you haven't had it by now. <laughs> Street dogs are a really big part of oh, LA's yeah, late true. night food culture is that's bacon true. wrapped hot dogs. So this is just honoring that. But it's a beefy boy. Look it's at this. thick yeah. dog. It's bigger than me. Chicago 100% Vienna beef. I tell you, you know, I don't love the LA classic bacon wrapped street dog. No. If this was the LA hot dog though, I would be getting this on street corners all the time. All right, let's have the burger. Are you seeing this? Are you seeing this? Are you seeing this? Are you seeing this? Are you serious? Keep going, one more. Are you serious? Oh, yeah. This does have a burger taste, even though it's not a burger. How'd they oh, do that? Oh my God. The hot dog I wasn't really into, but this is way better than any burger I've ever had. The low income, high income, doesn't matter where you come from. This food is incredible and it's special. But we got two other spots to hit up. 
now we're on to the next place, which is the Poutine Brothers truck. It's French fries with cheese curds and brown gravy. Toot toot, all aboard the gravy train. <laughs> oh, wow. nice one. My name is Chris. My name is Matt. And we are the Poutine Brothers. We're gonna serve up some delicious national dish of Canada, poutine. How long have you guys been around and why a truck? We've been around, let's see, two years. We did have a corporate background and jobs previously, and this is something that we wanted to try to get away from the desk job. When do people eat poutine? Is it ever sober? We try to encourage the sober eating, but to be honest, majority of people in Canada use it as a uh, late night beer soaker upper, I'll call it. Just to give you a little quick run through our menu, uh, we got the classic, which is usually the home run for every Canadian. They don't really like to stray away from that. Some people think we overcook our fries, but we do like them extra golden brown because as soon as that cheese, gravy, and whatever protein you got on there hitting it, it's gonna soften the fries quickly. Um, our more popular vegan option is the Parmesan cauliflower. Uh, that's just gonna be a homemade vegan gravy, also gluten-free. We have vegan cheese on there, and then the cauliflower is grilled on the flat top and then seasoned with nutritional yeast. We have a trio of spices on top of that one as well. We got a vegan Parmesan oh cauliflower. Oh my God. We got a classic poutine, Thank and we're gonna start you. you off in the middle with the you ketchup chips. Our homemade oh ketchup yeah. chips. Wow, oh shoot. Look at this, this is a, like a perfect Thanks, huge guys. chip. Let me take this mask off. All right, let's do let's it. Let's do it. Mm. Mm. Oh, 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 oh yes. Wow, that's really good. The sultry tango of the crunch and the smooth gravy, my goodness. Salty, like fries, but then this like very heavy, decadent little gravy. It's basically like mashed potatoes presented differently. If you just had the fries and the cheese, it would be way too much. Yeah. But the gravy adds this kind of left turn savory quality. It's kind of like nachos. I'm gonna move on right to this vegan one. Cauliflower, for years, got this bad rap. I'm like, who wants ghost broccoli? And then it turns out cauliflower is the most delicious thing ever. It tastes like something you could just like continuously oh, wow. shovel into your mouth as you're like incredibly drunk. This thing looks massive. It looks like a maple leaf or a ginkgo leaf specifically, if you're familiar with the ginkgo tree. Whoa. Ooh, you know what we gotta do now? Put it in the gravy. Potatoes on potato. <laughs> we got the bacon poutine, fried cheese curds, and this is an off the menu vegan special. All right, here goes the bacon. Wow, that's a bite. That is a bite, Ned. Mm -hmm. I think that just put hair on my chest. All right, so this is the vegan special they're serving right now. We're not sure what the protein <laughs> is, but you know, when you're drunk, you wouldn't care. You wouldn't care. I think this is Satan. Satan? Satan. Satan. I do love that. However, a mouthful of bacon. Yeah. At a time like this, <laughs> you know, in COVID, how often do you get a mouthful Just of bacon? Just a big old mouthful of bacon. I mean, shit. Let's go ahead and try the fried cheese curds. How are cheese curds different from cheese? So it's a very young part of the cheese, um, and especially soft. in the process, and it's very soft. Yeah. So early stages of the cheese making process. Young cheese is a great rapper name. Young cheese. Young cheese. Young cheese. <laughs> oh wow. It might take oh, a lap or hot. I'm telling you, I'm pretty positive this is Satan. Mm. It's like a chicken nugget, but then mm. cheese inside. Did you guys know that Satan is a, a, a wheat product? Uh-huh. How about that? Yeah. 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 Can we stop saying Satan? Here is the braised beef. Wow. wow! Move over, bacon. Food heads tend to gravitate towards our short rib. Um, that's also a braised meat. It has a ton of different ingredients in there. Um, some secrets that we don't always like to share. Ooh. So I'm curious if you guys can pick those out when you're trying it. I love secrets. Very savory, melt in your mouth. That's probably our biggest home run. Oh my god. Oh, f me up! That is Whoa. short rib that easily can mm. sit at a table with Kogi short rib. You've struck out at the bar, you know, you asked for numbers, they didn't give it to you. You tried to flirt, didn't work, but Looking you know what? Looking for a friend, and you found it. This is probably better than any drunk sex I've had. <laughs> <laughs> you could feed two people with this. How much does this cost? 
14 dollars that's the normal amount of short rib you give people you could give people half of that can we talk about the heft factor it looks crazy i'm i'm building my buys oh my god look at that Woo! just doing this Woo! that is the best short rib i've had in la i've lived here for about six years and that did it the chicken tikka masala it's very unique with the flavors and textures going on with that one it's a little more i would say creative and out of the box you guys want to try this tikka masala let's go for it Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Also excellent. We've been having the drunk food. This mm -hmm. is the stoner food. Mm -hmm. You enter the cosmos with this one. We are very, very full, obviously, after all we've eaten so far, but we have one more stop. Mm. We're going to the green truck, which I'm <sighs> for once excited to have some healthy food because I think we need it. <laughs> that was good. To eat the menu is one thing, but I don't have to like move. The food is sort of had shoveled into me. All the trucks come to us. I'm Mitchell Collier, one of the co-founders of Green Truck. Been around since 2006. And actually right where we sit, this is Sony Animation right here behind us. All right. you, you fed the, the crew of Spider-Verse. Yes. You, you made we that probably, movie. Yeah. You basically made that movie. Pretty much. That's awesome. <laughs> Before I started Green Truck, I was in the acting modeling world. Everywhere I went, you couldn't really eat that healthy. You've been on sets before, M&M's, Coca-Cola. I wanted to change that and bring local organic food to the set. Cool. I love Applebee's. Yeah, yeah. Right? Applebee's. What are we gonna be eating today? Today, we can eat the whole menu from Green Truck. We wanna okay. focus on local and organic. You're up, Keith. And I know, right? we <laughs> have grass-fed, we got grass-fed beef, we got free-range chicken, we have superfood salads, wow. kale yeah salads. We have- Kale yeah. Kale yeah, <laughs> you got it. And mother truck and ride, it's organic. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have a burger today that will hold up to any fried chicken or any uh, comfort Those food. Those big words Whoa. right there to me. I'm, I'm a big Whoa. fried chicken boy. As Whoa. Well. It's all veggies. So it's mushrooms, kale, beets, onions, garlic, basil, and oat flour is the binding unit. So it's literally all veggies. The flavor is incredible. It doesn't taste like a bunch of vegetables, it doesn't taste like meat, but it tastes just really delicious. Yeah. Like, I'm most open about complaining if something vegan doesn't taste great. I believe you used to have the, the motto, salads. Yeah, I've refined from that. <laughs> you know, I'm a, I'm a reformed salad fucker. <laughs> but here's the thing, when it tastes like this, it's all good. So I know that you actually have a lot of food trucks now under your brand. How has your business shifted during COVID to sort of accommodate how things are changing? We made a meal plan, a subscription plan. It's $200 a month, unlimited. It averages out to $7 a day. And instead of focusing on people in their offices, we're focusing on people that live here in the neighborhood. And also first responders, policemen, firemen, and teachers, they all get half price, and I'm reaching out to the whole community. So for $7 a day, I could come here for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Yes, sir. And Zach's girlfriend could get three fifty. Yes. That's pretty good. That's amazing. That's pretty good. I might sign Maggie up That's for right now. dollar a meal. The Paleo Bowl started with CrossFit. They all want paleo. So made the bison into taco meat, and then do the kale with a fresh pico, and then you do two free-range eggs and it's like basically a monster breakfast paleo bowl. <laughs> Everything together is amazing. This is, I feel wrong calling this a salad. There's a little spice it. on that with the pico. Uh -huh. Woo! Woo! Oh, so thank you. Cilantro, lime, strawberry hibiscus. Hell yeah. Homemade here. Wow. This is such a good compliment. It feels like I'm still eating when I'm drinking. This is the type of salad that I can get behind. Yeah, right? This salad rides a Harley Davidson, mm -hmm. you know? This salad finishes bar fights. This yeah. is a salad that like cheats on its wife, you know? Uh -oh. <laughs> it's just like in a lot of other businesses right now. Oh, sure. It's barely being a salad. It's misbehaving. It's weird doing a post-workout meal when all I've been doing is eating all, all day and Rip. sitting in a car. I mean, it's been a jaw workout, that's for sure. It's a Chipotle grass-fed beef burger with Neiman Ranch bacon. Okay. Avocado. <laughs> Going with the bacon bite, yeah. Oh, you gotta. This is giving you everything you want out of a burger, but all the ingredients are fresher. They're sourced locally. The bacon is amazing. Like, the that quality here is great. That tomato, though. I know. Mm -hmm. I love it. I'm gonna pass that down to my family. My God. <laughs> I was about to make the same stupid <laughs> joke. We have the kale, yeah, which is our salad, which is beets, carrots, mushrooms, kale, spring greens, quinoa, 
and a goddess dressing. We've been indulging all day, but this is what I would most like to eat eight times out of 10. Hmm. A little sweetness mm. coming through in there as well. I think that might be the beets. And you get mm -hmm. the funky earthiness from mm -hmm. the mushroom, mm -hmm. from the beets. The only way you can make this good is if the vegetables themselves are of high quality. And this is delicious and it just speaks to everything they're using in the kitchen. And also like the fact that you can get this from a food truck, it just really right. changes your perspective of what you could get. Right, you feel like the farmer's market's coming to you. A food affects your mood. Like there's so much more than just getting you the energy to like move throughout your day. It's, it's gonna change your mood. It's gonna change how you view things that come on your plate. It's gonna change your work ethic. It's gonna Eating. change how well you can work. Yeah. Like, food for your brain. Yeah. I think that food trucks really can be that next revolution in more places that can provide healthy, cheap, delicious stuff to those people who can't get it anywhere else. <laughs> what a day. All three of these trucks were creating communities around them and fostering a sense of accessibility because of how it could go from place to place and because it was at a really affordable price point. You're getting new, interesting chefs, people who are taking risks, and I think it's really reducing the barrier of entry for a lot of really interesting food. Maybe this is a place where we can break down those walls, literally and figuratively, and eat like other cultures around the world, like. Singapore, you know. We've been to the hawkers in Singapore. Have you, yeah, yeah, yeah. where food is yeah. just, you know, everywhere, right? Yeah. So maybe that's the next level where these aren't just like isolated food festivals, but all of these empty buildings and these empty lots become communal. I just see a lot more opportunity to get more unique and takeout is gonna be up-leveled into a new capacity that we kind of haven't seen before. Now the food trucks do have a reputation of having a lot of fun food and it is awesome. If you wanna make change, it's where you spend your money on your food. I hope maybe you've been inspired. If you're a chef out there thinking like, I wanna get into the restaurant industry and I just don't know my way in, maybe a food truck is the right way to go. This is super fun. What other types of food do you like to see us tour and sample for you guys? Let us know. Also subscribe. Check out the merch. Check out our Patreon. Thanks for supporting us during these COVID times. And as follow well. Zach on Instagram. Follow Zach on Instagram. <laughs> Vote with your dollar at tryguys.com. And follow <laughs> us on TikTok if it still exists. Yeah. We don't know. We don't know. We also uh, want to thank Applebee's for <laughs> 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 <laughs>